All right, guys, back again with another match reaction. Wolves 2, Everton 1. Where do we start? <laughs> I mean, where do we start, man? I I'm not too sure if these players on their days off go to sleep or 7 or 8 o'clock because it was quite evident there that they're not awake at these times. Because I actually... You know, Wolves could have scored five or six. I don't even think they came out of second gear. I don't think, I don't know what we was doing. It, it seems to happen every game that Mina doesn't play. We just seem all over the place. And no one seems to know what role they're doing. They was all arguing with each other. Like little children. I, how do you go into a match not knowing how to set up and what you're doing? Do I blame the manager for that? Possibly. But the players need to start taking responsibility. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Um, <laughs> we was just hopeless in terms of possession as well. We couldn't even get the ball, to be honest, in the first half. We, was, we might as well just put some beds out in their side of the, on our side of the pitch. Uh, because, like I said, we was asleep and we didn't get out of our half, really, to be honest. It was just a game of attack against defence. Um, let's get to the first goal. It, it's, it's, an, it's an actual... It's, it's ridiculous. Your job and your role is to defend your box. You are supposed to defend it with everything you got. The players who was surrounding the goal scorer for Wolves, I can't remember his name because I've never heard of him to be honest. And it's his first goal in the Premier League. Not a shock that it's 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 came against Everton, but yeah, three players I think who was around him, and he managed to score. Um, I still I think Pickford could have done better. Maybe it might have bounced off the turf a bit fast, but I still think he should have done better. But the players surrounding the goal scorer. Hang your head in shame because it was an actual joke. Um, you should never be getting beat. Free play should never get beaten by one man. So you just get in, you know, you see that and you knew it was coming and you're trying to think in your head, let's keep the first 20, 20 to 30 minutes, nil nil. And, you know, they're going to, they was powering, they was flying at us, they was using all the energy, they was trying to get the early goal and I just think we could have just. We could have could have prevented a goal, to be honest. And it's a set piece again. I <laughs> zonal marking is just not for Everton. It will never will be with this defence we have. And this defence, by the way, we've had for about three or four or five seasons now. I don't know how many, but apart from Mina, no, apart from Godfrey, we've had these. We've had this defence for three or four or five years, and it's never been good enough. Michael Keane is never going to get better. He is a horrendous defender. He's a desperate def defender. Um, but we'll get into him in a moment. But um, it's it's just not what Everton... We can't do it, zonal mark. We're just not good enough. And I think with Ancelotti, we had a bit of zonal mark and, and also usually initi initiative. Um, that's how I looked at it when, um, we, we was, when Ancelotti was in charge. Um, sorry, I'm just fuming, and I I can't believe the first goal. I thought it was such a soft goal to give away. You know the other attacks they had. You know they could have easily scored from them, but just to give that away was really frustrating because I just know that we're not the type of team and normally gets back into a game um, after going a goal down. Um, and then the second one, I can't even explain how bad it is. I can't, I can't even explain how bad it is. I was, I had no words for it. Um, and it really pretty, it sums up Godfrey's season. It sums up Godfrey's season. The lad must have had a bevy in the summer or something because he's just not came out as the same player. I don't know if winning Everton, the, uh, Everton the player of the season for Everton has got to his head. I, I mean, it wouldn't get to my head because we, that's how bad it is that a defender was our player this season. Um, and his first season for us as well. 
he's just not being the same. And the pass is horrendous. I just don't know why we have moments where we just seem to switch off. Like, in moments where there's no other opposition player around us, we seem to just mess up somehow. And I don't understand how that's possible, to be honest. I don't understand how that's possible. But he passes it back. Short. Now, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to offend anyone. It shouldn't really do. But Raul Jimenez has had a skull fracture. And he was more awake to the ball than Mason Holgate, which is never a surprise, but it's just a joke <laughs> when you see it. Like, you're just like, how could you not read? How could you not stay on your toes and anticipate that that ball could have been a bit short? You know what I mean? He just obviously got beat by Ram Rimin Raul Jimenez and he goes and chips it over Pickford. And you're just thinking to yourself, what's the point? And that, you know, like I said, Mason Holgate, I cannot stand him. He is an awful defender. He's barely had a good game for Everton. Where I've looked back and gone, what? You know, he really done well today. He's barely had a good game for us in so many years he's been here for. Um, and you're just looking at that 2-0 down. You're just like, <sighs> it's it's game over, to be honest. Even if we come back to all, we shouldn't have to be working that hard to get back into a game where we've done it to ourselves, basically. Um, and yeah, we go into the break and we just, I just felt deflated. I just felt like, I just wish we can skip these next 45 minutes because the result's not going to change. And we come out, you know, a bit more energy, a bit more attacking. I don't understand why you have to wait till half time to do that. I don't know why you need to talk with the manager to realise what you're doing wrong. It's clear and obvious and day. You're on that pitch. You shouldn't analyse what's going on. You should think, and even the manager, you should think, maybe I need to change this instead of just sitting down, moaning. You know, it's it's ridiculous how you could change from one half to the other. But I also think that Wolves dropped off. And I don't think they needed to, because there's games where you could be up 2-0 up and you go, we're kind of lucky to be 2-0 up there. You know, the other team had some chances and whatnot. We did absolutely nothing in that first half. And our defence... Was as shaky as a vibrator. You know what I mean? We we was all over the place. They could have just come out in the second half. I don't know if it's due to fatigue and that, but you've had like a week off. I can't see a team after 45 minutes, Premier League fitness coming to play, and you can't hack a full 90 minutes at the same pace in a sense. It's it's their own doing wolves that they got us back into the game. Um I thought Damari Gray had a horrendous game. Worst game in an Everton shirt. Um, yeah. I think he had so many chances and so many positions he take he took up. Um, and at the start of the season, he was putting them away or he was crossing them early or he was just making all the right decisions. And today, he was making all the wrong decisions. Um, and I was very disappointed because we had some good moments where I thought we could have capitalised a lot you know what I mean like it was we cut them open not really cut them open but we just had so much space to do some damage to them and we just didn't we ended up losing it um, now <laughs> a Wobi a Wobi is uh, he's, he's something else isn't he <laughs> the man against Wolves I think he scored three goals in four games Yet, in the other 60 games, I think, in the Premier League, he scored nothing. I don't know if the Wolves wake him up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, don't, I just don't understand. But anyway, he gets the goal. Um, and you just think to yourself, a point wouldn't be bad in this situation. We played poorly. We've lost the last two home games. We've got games up, up and coming, and I can't see us getting a point out of them. This is our chance. Um, we had Gordon who come on. I think for... I can't even remember who come off now. But Gordon played great. And you know what? I'm just really... I just want him to get his first goal. I just want him to get up and running in the Premier League. You know what I mean? In the sense... Like he's done, He's had an assist, a, a one or two of them. But in terms of goals, he hasn't scored yet. And I think he just needs it. 
um, to boost his confidence. But he come on and he was fresh. He was dynamic. He was he was fast thinking. To be honest, he was doing the things Gray should have been doing all game. But um, and that's that's one of the only real positives I can take out of the game that Gordon come on and played well. Um, but like I said, he desperately needs a goal in him. And we've I've always thought like yes, he is very young, but there's players older than him, or sorry, younger than him, who have got more strength than him. And like he's just he's never had like a man strength about him. You know what I mean? He's clean, quite skinny. He's been pushed off the ball too easily too many times. I'm hoping he's going to build a bit of meat or whatever to to compete a bit better in games. And that's what I've seen um, in this match and the previous match against um, I think it was either West Ham or uh, Watford um, and yeah I j look, Wolves got lucky a few times to be honest but even when we scored 2-1 they nearly gone and scored on the other end it, like the defence I think who, who, I can't even remember who missed the chance but I think Raul Jimenez ran with the ball or something like that and it got into their box and I don't even know how it got into their box Um. And whoever it was missed basically an open goal to me. Um, I don't know how he got one on one with the keeper, but I think Michael Keane got skipped past. And Michael Keane, the it's it's horrendous when you see it back. Like the guy literally just walked past him, and it looks like a guy. Michael Keane honestly looks like a defender who's playing at soccer aid. There's more mo mobility in a mobility scooter than Michael Keane. It's ridiculous. Um. But yeah, they also hit the post as well from a chance which should have never got to that. No, you know, got to that. They should have never had a shot basically because the ball came out on the left, on the, on the right, and the guy chips it in. And I think it was Raul Jimenez who backed off from like two players who were just ball watching, and he goes and hits the post and should have buried it. So even if we got to come back today, even if we drew two two, I was I would have still been analysing the game in the same way. I wouldn't have been me though. I would have been happy we got the points, but I've been fuming about the performance and how Wolves should have scored four or five or six past us. It was just far too easy for them. Um and when I said before as well with the Gordon is the only good thing about the game. I can't really praise Delph because the guy has done nothing and he's spent more time in hospital than on the pitch for Everton. Um, he played well when he came on, I'll give him that. He, you know, his Gabamon was just not match sharp at all. You can just tell he was getting beat to everything. He just looked so slow. Um, but I'm hoping now he's played 45 minutes, he can have, you know, it's probably helped him a bit. Um, I'm just glad the change was made because we don't seem to make changes at half time. We normally just keep it to the same squad to like 60 minutes in. So I'm glad Delph come on. Well, I wasn't, but he played well. Um, he was a bit more alert to things. He was trying to make the passes. He was trying to be a lot more direct. Um, and yeah, I was really happy that um, we was just a bit more direct in the second half. But like I said, I think it's a, it's due to Wolves, Wolves downfall. Like they... I think set up to just defend, which didn't make sense to me because we was all over the place. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'm just really disappointed. I'm really disappointed. I don't know where we're going to go from here. And he's going to have to find answers very soon. And we're going to have to play remarkably well against these top teams coming up um, to get anything. Because... We could get ourselves in a dangerous situation here. And, you know, it doesn't mean you could say, oh, when, when the players all come back, we'll be fine. But more players could get injured before then. So I just can't, I can't see us having our first 11, our strongest 11 throughout the season. We just seem to have players get injured every five minutes. Um, I mean, I don't even know if Gabamon went off injured. Who knows? I wouldn't be surprised. But, um, yeah, I was I was just fuming to be honest. I think I don't know what's up with this team. I don't know why the players off the bench can't seem to make an impact when our first team is on else. Um, 
but it is what it is. Um, there's nothing really more to say. I'm just hoping this little patch we're going through right now can get resolved in the next game and the game after that because I just don't, I can't see where the next point's coming from. But anyway, I'm going to leave it as that. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, the first video has done great. It's got over 300 views. Um, I've got about 24 subscribers or something like that. So it's been a really good start to this channel. Um, obviously, I'll probably get more views when we get beat. But yeah, I'm happy that fellow Blues have been following me and supporting me. Um, and people have been commenting and interacting with me. It's been great up to now. Um, and I, hope it I hope it continues. And I can hopefully have some collabs with some other channels. It would be great. But yeah. Um, I'll see you soon. I'll probably do. I'll probably start doing like through the week some like Everton weekly news or um, anything about match previews as well. I was going to do a match preview preview for this, but I was really um, I just didn't have time yesterday to do it. So I might do it for the next upcoming game. I don't even know who it is because I don't want to look. I don't want to see anything about Everton for the next 24 hours, so yeah, I'll see you soon.